What's up math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 40 and the 8th grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question gives us points P, Q, and R and tells us that they're the vertices of a triangle and we're supposed to try to find the, the approximate length of side RQ. Now this question is unfortunately going to make us do the Pythagorean theorem again with coordinate points. So let's go ahead and start with that. So here's the triangle, P, Q, and R. Now I put side QR in blue because that's the one we're most interested in. But I will observe that since P and R have the same Y coordinate, they're just a vertical line and I can just count the number of steps I need to take to get from negative two to negative eight. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now over here, um, point P and point Q have the same Y coordinate, so they're a horizontal line and I can just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's the number of um, squares I would need to cross to get from point P to point Q, and I'll actually use this information to find point R, because if this line is horizontal and this line is vertical, they make a right angle, which means I now have a right triangle, which means I need to pull out the Pythagorean theorem in order to find this side, which I'm now considering my hypotenuse. So I'm gonna start where every Pythagorean theorem problem starts. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So at this point, I'm gonna call my sides a, b, and c. And I'm gonna sub in some of the numbers that I know. a is six, so six squared plus, let me get a different marker. 6 squared plus, and then b was 7, so 7 squared equals c squared. Now to evaluate this side, I can use my times tables or my calculator to get that 6 times 6 is 36, 7 times 7 is 49, and then 36 plus 49 will give me 85. So I know that whatever this length is, when I square it, I'm going to get 85. So now I'm going to do the last step in any Pythagorean theorem problem, which is to take the square root of this number because it would be like taking the square root of both sides and the square root and squared would eliminate each other. So C is just the square root of 85. Square root of 85, that's going to be about 9 and 22 hundredths. I pull this off, look back at the question for my answer choices, and the closest choice to that is 9 units. That is the approximate length of side RQ. Now 